Hi guys, Yazid is here and today we are going to talk about Duelist new expansion. So a new expansion has been announced and they are currently revealing few cards for the expansion. The expansion will be sm smaller than the previous expansion and it will introduce a new mechanism. So let's talk about the card for briefly and I will start with Zephyr because this card has the new mechanism which is Blood Surge. Your, gen your general gain Frenzy this turn, 3 mana, with 3 attack and 3 health. So Blood Surge is a mechanism work after you use your Bloodborne spell. This is the Trivian card. So, after you summon your uh, Devilish, it will uh, allow your general to have Frenzy this turn. Really solid minion. And I like the design of the fit a lot because uh, the 2 2 actually is uh, good, but. Uh, giving you a frenzy for this turn allow you to control the land more easier because you are killing their minion and summoning one two two for uh, only the cost of your blood ball spell if you have this mon this minion in the board a really nice way to face aggro decks Especially when Abusian swarm the field. Let's talk to. Let's go to the another card, which is Excelsius. A legendary, eight mana six six, provoke, and clarity. This minion gain one one for each time you healed anything this game. So, and it's a lunar kingdom. A really cool legendary. Maybe it will push the healing deck for Leonor a little bit. I know that it need a few more to be really viable. And you also have your Bloodborne spell, which by itself it's a heal, 3 mana to any minion. And that will make this minion really dangerous. but. An 8 mana cost is really high, so I don't know if you can play actually 3 copies of it in a healing deck, but it has some potential. And let's go to the next card, which is the Geomancer, a 5 mana, 5-4 five minion, opening ground, your Bloodborne spell is a Phoenix Fire. A Phoenix Fire is... Uh, a spell for Songai and it costs two. From what I understand, your Bloodborne spell will cost two also after your Geomancer replace w replace it with a Phoenix Fire. A really powerful minion, but you have to keep it in into consideration that. Uh, if you play this on turn 5, it will has no effect till the next turn because you need a 2 extra mana to use your hero power. A really powerful effect, I am not saying it's not, but uh, people are like over way overrating this card. It's a really good card. I am not saying it's not good, so do not destroy me in the comment. <laughs> But it's most likely it will be 7 mana because uh, 5 mana for the minion and 2 mana for your bl Bloodborne spell. The next card is Punish. 2 mana destroyed a damage minion. It's an Abyssian card and it's very interesting Abyssian card because it filled a niche that Always Abyssian has. 
when you play Abyssian, if you pick Lilith, you are working on swarming the field with a lot of minions, and that your goal of your deck is. So you use most likely as a hard removal ritual banishing. So you destroy a minion uh, from your passive and you destroy the enemy minion. And that is a really good card in this situation. But in case you pick Cassivia, you deal one damage if that minion die, turn it into Shadow Creep, turn the place into Shadow Creep. So you are lacking the hard removal and you only got Dark Transformation, which is a five cost hard removal. And that is really expensive compared to other hard removal in the game. So punish, uh, actually with punish you can use it with your hero power for two mana and one mana from uh, the bloodborne spell, and that will kill any minion immediately. And this is the niche that Abyssian was missing, especially in the type of deck that uh, swarm the field with shadow creep not with minion so let's go now to the next card which is totanic spike a three mana for magmar spell that both player draw three card deal three damage to both children i really like this card because symmetric effect is not as powerful as they see so drawing a three card for both player they are not that powerful except that you draw the three card immediately where the opponent need you to end your turn to do that but you are already losing three mana because you play the spell so this is synergized with a lot of card that the enemy will take damage whenever they draw for example And that's what I like about the card because it's synergized with a lot of cards and dealing three damage on the top of it. Magmar is one of the classes that have a good spell for healing, which is the heal eight. So that three damage is not as risky as the other classes. And lastly, we have. Grandmaster Embla, 8 mana minion, 5-5 five five status, grand opening surrounding the enemy general with random walls. Now the minion value is okay as a start, maybe it's lower than okay because it's an 8 mana that only 5-5 five five status, but you need to understand what this card synergizes with first it synergizes with a lot of transformation spell that Venar has and for example aspect of the fox transform any minion into 3-3 ravenger with no ability you can use them in your you can the first time summon the grand master Embla and the next turn you have eight walls most most likely some of them survive and you can just play aspect of the wall for three extra damage on the enemy's face you have the transfer any minion into a random battle bit which is not that good with it but for the sake of counting it and you have one of the strongest card you can synergize it with which is aspect of the mountain the transport any minion into 5-5 five five and deal 5 damage to an enemy around it and while while getting overdrive which is give a friendly minion no 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 not this sorry a aspect of the drake which is transport a minion into a a flying drake that give friendly minion flying around it and the extra card is 
the winter week give all your wall minions 4-4 four, four. this minion can move now and this is the ultimate combo where you play grandmaster and blow and follow it the next turn with winter week and that is most likely going to kill the enemy general for sure but the problem is both of them that cost 8 mana and that mean you cannot put too many copies of them in the same deck because you will have a large number of high cost minion but it's kind of work because having all these transformation effect in the same deck mean that you can kill any high priority target you face with this transformation effect if you are not going to use it on the wall themselves and having wall card themselves allow you to control the field and give you an extra time to survive for example the blazing spain and uh, the gravity wall with four provoked minion plus the bone chill barrier and this i think all the type of the wall that can be summoned by the templar by the way so i really like the potential of a new deck i don't think it will be it will fit a normal deck it will only fit a deck like this and i hope it will be viable but i am concerned this deck has too many legendary which is will be hard for a lot of player to make it because you will need a, a three copy of a gravity wall and this is a three legendary plus you will need a three copy maybe or less from impla and three aspect of the mountain and winter wake and I hope that they find its way to the meta and that was the last card I hope you enjoyed them please comment below the your opponent of the card if you agree with a specific one or you disagree please tell me below and I I will be releasing one another video when they reveal few more cards so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching the video and please like it, it really mean a lot to me